you don't have, they all have spirit guides. You know what their spirit guide is? It's a demon. And it's a demon. And remember, the root word demon, it means intelligence. That's what it means. It doesn't mean wicked. It simply means intelligence. And if you remember that Plato uh, and some of these old Greek philosophers taught that to have a demon was a good thing because you could have intelligence by having it. It was, they say only later on, they begin to take on a wicked form like it does. This is why I say to you, I do not know where demons came from. I gave you about five or six possibilities. I do not know where they came from, but I know they are real. I know they are real. And it could be one of the five or six that I gave you. It could be, it could be one of them. I don't know. It could be the, it could be the spirits of a pre-Adamite race that was on this earth before. It could be the spirits of these, uh, of these Nephilim, these giants that were killed in the flood. It could be. A number of things, but I don't know what they. I just know this. I know that I don't. Know, I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I know I'm protected by the blood of Christ. I know they're real. I don't make fun of them. I don't mess with them, and I don't want them messing with me. And and they do. And when they start messing with me, I deal with them personally. I speak directly to them, and I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood over you. Leave me. And they will leave you. They will leave you. Don't entertain them. Don't give them a place. Don't, don't, don't try to outsmart them. Don't think you're going to be coy with them. They're smarter than us. So don't mess with them. Just do exactly what Michael did when he dealt with Satan over the body of, of Moses. You know what he did? He said, the Lord rebuked thee, Satan. Yeah. That's what he said. And that ended it. Why does a man who proclaims that KJB to be the perfect word, then at 3140, give us the meaning of a word that doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible but is used in modern corrupt texts, teaching about the etymology of the non-biblical word demon, is not edifying when in reality he's talking of devils. Is anyone at all listening when at 3250, he tells us what he actually says to demons he comes across, I plead the blood of Jesus over you? I first heard this wicked message from where it had been reposted for the sake of non-believers. My heart was lifted and gladdened when they, for the eternal sakes of all beloved family and friends, removed the video. If your spirit is not disturbed and disgusted by the one minute of filthy fear porn coming out of the heart of this man, then your fellowship is not with Jesus, whose blood was poured out once only and not a drop of which was stored up for future use by pleaders and beggars frightened by devils. Tony, that you facilitate the deception of someone who holds a KJB aloft for all to see but then preaches from perverted texts about demons, fornicating evil angels and the Nephilim, causes me to cry until I sob. I wanted to remove the word filthy, but I'm restrained. I've had this page open for three days. I have to send it now.